Hey guys, what's going on? David Durang here. So I want to tell you that starting next year, May, uh, something drastically will change when it comes to flying and identification. So you'll need to upgrade to either a real ID or something called an enhanced ID. Now these things aren't new, but what I'll do in this video, I'll explain to you what they are, the two, and you'll figure out whether or not you need it or it's something you can work around, etc. I'll just give you some more information. So in terms of the real ID and enhanced ID, it's it could be just now like you have your regular identification or like your license. So those are the two. When you talk about the real ID, it's something that was uh, created in 2005 in response to September 11, and they wanted to create more safety features. And also, it allows you to use it for federal uses. If you were to open your wallet or your purse now, you'll see that a lot of IDs say uh, non for, not for non-federal uh, purposes. But with the real ID, you'll be able to, you know, be granted into federal buildings, military bases, etc. And obviously you can use it as standard driver's license. That in terms of the fee, it'll be the same as a regular uh, driver's license. It won't be any extras. So that's that. In terms of the enhanced ID, which is the driver's license, not only do you get that, the ability to use it for federal purposes, but in some instances, you'll be able to use it like a passport. Now, here's what I mean. If you're going to places like Canada, Mexico, and the Caribbean, you'll be able to use this as a passport only via sea and land. Now, a lot of people might not uh, be good in geography, but to the north of us in the States, it's Canada. So if you can uh, rent a car or take the Greyhound bus, you know, if you're crossing borders, you, you'll just show this enhanced ID rather than how you normally would show your passport. Same thing with Mexico. But in in the, in, case, in terms of the Caribbean, if a lot of people take cruises, you know, leaving New York and leaving Florida, and they head down to the Caribbean. So in that instance, you can be able to use this driver's license instead of your passport. So that's what I mean by the enhanced driver's license in those aspects, you can use it as a passport. It's similar to the video that I created in the past where I mentioned the difference between a passport card and a passport book. It's the same idea in the sense that the passport book, you obviously you can use it anywhere and you, you must use it in, to, any, to go to any country, but the passport um, card, it was the same idea where you can use it to go to Canada, Mexico, and to some Caribbean countries by sea, and the other ones by land, of course. So it's pretty much the same idea, but uh, so that's, that's what you need to know. In terms of the charge though, instead of it being the normal price of a regular license, it'll be that charge plus $30 charge, like a, like a $30 fee on top of that. So those are the two main differences. So you can choose which one works for you. Um, do, do you see yourself taking trips via auto or sea to those destinations? I think that's one of the main differences. For both of them, you'll have access uh, to federal buildings. When it comes to uh, voting or anything like that, you won't get impacted. Um, everything stays the same. Now you might ask yourself, uh, what if I don't have money to get a new license right now? Or what if what happens if I forget to uh, switch over by May? What will happen if I want to travel or there's an emergency? Now, if that's the case, you can always use your passport as, you know, your identification. So you can do that and carry that around in lieu of not having the real or the enhanced ID. So... Hopefully this was helpful and, you know, let me know any questions down below that you'll have. So that's pretty much the two, but just remember by me, this is the thing. And like I said before, these are not new programs. The real ID came out in 2005 in response to September 11 and the enhanced ID came out in 2008. So it's been quite some time 
So now they're trying to implement everyone into the program. All right, until next time, Dave Durang, No Frontier, over and out. See you.